Hello and welcome to a demonstration of our code auto completion add-on for our CSS and JavaScript toolbox plugin for WordPress. The code auto completion add-on, or as we like to call it the CAC, basically simplifies the task of writing code by predicting the code syntax you want to type before you type it fully. Our CAC system works with four language dictionaries. As you can see here, we've got CSS, HTML, JavaScript, and PHP. So we'll run through a quick example. I have my editor language set to CSS, so we click there. And now the CAC will use the CSS language dictionary. And you can see this in action by running the CAC by clicking Command G or Command plus the G key if you're on a Mac, and the Control plus the Spacebar key if you're on a PC. Uh, we can exit the dialog or the CAC dialog box by clicking the Escape key, and that's for both Mac and PC. As you can see, I have an empty code block, and since I'm a Mac user, I'm using my left thumb to hold down the Command button, and then with my pointer finger on the same hand, I click the G key. The CAC dialog box opens and lists the CSS code syntax in alphabetical order. You can scroll down this list using your mouse or the CAC scroll bar, which is here. And you can also use, well, if you're on a PC, you can use the um, page up or page down key. Uh, but because I'm on a, a Mac, and Mac keyboards do not have a dedicated page up or page down key. We have still supported this by holding down the command key with your left thumb and then use the up and down arrow keys with the other hand, like so. While you're scrolling down the list of code syntax, you'll notice some syntax are in the black font, whilst others are in the grey font. And since we're discussing the CSS syntax, the black font will represent the CSS properties, whilst the grey font represents its values. We've also provided a description box, which is here, and that describes the more commonly used syntax. And we hope to keep improving the language dictionaries that hold the syntax and descriptions in later versions of the CAC. Okay, so I'm going to click Escape, and let's see the CAC in action by adding some CSS code. Firstly, I'm going to make sure that the editor language is set to CSS, which it currently is, and then I'm going to create a new code block by clicking Add New Code Block button. We'll title it uh, CSS Demo in here. Uh, we'll keep the location hook for the header and we'll put the block position as the first block. So we'll create that. And I'm just going to copy and paste some CSS code in there that I recently wrote for this website. I'll just paste that in there. So firstly I'm going to position my cursor and being a Mac user I launch the CAC dialog by pressing the command plus G key. And as you see, the, I get the entire CSS syntax list, but as soon as I start typing a letter like C, this list is now filtered to only show CSS syntax based on the letter C. I can keep typing more letters like an O, an L, an O, which I'm trying to type color, and you'll notice this list is filtered even more and you'll, well, you'll eventually see the word colour as you type it. So um, we can also use the cursor key, well, the arrow keys to go left and right and you can see how the CSS syntax list either increases or decreases. Just like so. I'm going to type colour hmm, red. And this is going to affect the anchor on the uh, heading one tag. So 
Previously, I created a new page called CAC Demo, and I'll look for this in the Assignment panel, which this whole section here is the Assignment panel, and under the Pages tab, which is this one here, we scroll down until we find our CAC Demo page, and there it is there. I'm going to place a tick in that checkbox, and then I'm going to click the Save button, now to see it in action, we just simply click this page title. All of these are, uh, are links that will open the page in a new window or new tab. So I click that, and as you can see, our title is red. So we'll go back, we'll keep working and show you some more examples. So I'm going to copy and paste another slab of CSS. Let's get rid of one of those. Okay, so let's have a play with the CAC. Uh, let's change this to another color. Uh, let's see, we could go, uh, let's try blue. And there we go, just push enter. Now I'm going to save that. And that's for the hover on the anchor tag. So let's refresh the page. Oh, and that's also done the page background green. So we can change that if we want. But did you see how the hover is blue? Uh, let's try changing that to, hmm, let's change that to black. There we go. So that's the body, uh, the background color for the body. And we'll just ref save that and refresh the page. And voila, you can see that the uh, background color is black. Let's try one more example. Um, let's try, let's change the background color of this. So I'm going to delete that. I'm going to launch the cat, Command G. For Mac users or Control Space Bar for PC users, uh, and I'm going to do background. Uh, yeah, why not? Background color, and I'll change that to blue, and I'll save that. Refresh the page, Command R. And let's see. Oh, there we go. So highlighting, the t highlights the text blue or change the background color to blue on the hover. So that's the CAC in action. Uh, now that you've seen the Code Auto Completion Extension plugin in action, I'll briefly go through the other language dictionaries and quickly scroll through their syntax lists as well. So I might just delete that. And let's change this to HTML. We launch the CAC again, Command G. And as you can see, there's an extensive list of HTML code syntax for you to use. And I'll try page, page down. We've got a few descriptions. So that's HTML. Let's try another one. Uh, this time we'll do JavaScript. Command G. And this is our JavaScript dictionary. So it's another extensive list. Okay, we'll try one more for well, the last one, which is PHP. Oops. And here you can see a very extensive list of PHP syntax. And page doing a page down or command arrow down to to scroll per page. Uh, it's a very extensive this is list this one. It's uh, in fact there's over 800 keywords and functions here alone.
So I'll escape that. So all in all, there are over, well, as you saw, 800 keywords and functions for PHP. Uh, there's 320 properties and values for CSS, and 220 elements and attributes for HTML, and 180 keywords and functions for JavaScript. So the CAC is a great tool to help you write your codes. It can be used as a cheat sheet to help you remember code syntax. And for those learning how to code, it's also a fun way to help you learn these languages too. The CAC is available for both the premium CJT v6 edition and the free CJT v6 CE edition. And that's currently hosted on the WordPress.org plugin repository. So grab yourself a copy and we really hope you enjoy using it. Thanks uh, very much for watching this tutorial video. We hope you learnt a lot and we look forward to releasing more videos uh, in the near future. Thanks again and take care.